Good day, first world travellers, and welcome back. Eight years ago, I visited Guatemala and Belize and visited various Mayan sites such as Chunantanic and Tikal. I'm back in this part of the world. I'm in Uxmal, which is about an hour south of Merida. We are going to have an awesome day. Let's go. So welcome to Ishmael. I am beyond excited because I've wanted to come here for absolutely years. First off, let's talk about how the hell I got here. So obviously there are many tours you can get. These aren't particularly pricey. However, I got the bus from the Terminal D Auto Buses, T-A-M-E. I'll put all the details down below and in the description also. And it cost me 146 pesos. Not too bad, that's return by the way. And in terms of the times, Again, I'll put the times down below. I got one at 9.05 a.m. and there's various buses throughout the day in which you can use to get back. There's one about midday, one about three o'clock and one about six o'clock basically. So you do have an opportunity to spend a lot of time here. So Mayan history is generally later than other people's that we've seen in other videos like Aztecs, Toltecs, Olmecs, things like that. However, this place was generally thought to be settled first at around 500 BC. So a long time ago, but it wasn't really a large, popular, influential area in the Yucatan until about the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th century. And one thing that you will see with this is that how it differs from other pyramids that we've seen before. The sides are much more sloped, basically. It gives it a very distinctive look. You don't see many like this. Obviously, you do have the steps going up either side. This is very similar to ones I saw in Belize, as I said at the beginning, Shunantanik is very similar to this in a lot of ways. So behind the Pyramid of the Magician is the Nunnery Quadrangle. It might get a bit dark in here. Yes, it does. Oh, there we go. You can see how high it is. Um, with all these like small rooms, flies everywhere. Um, yeah, Nunnery quadrangle, quadrangle. There's a Governor's Palace as well, and it's more of a flat building, basically, rather than a pyramid. Let's continue. A lot of the buildings you do see these designs faces snakes feathered serpents things like that similar in Aztec places as well or places like Teotihuacan and by the way guides are available at the entrance or alternatively you can just walk around yourself there's a long route and a short route I'm not really sure which one I'm doing I'm just doing a route my own route there's these helpful paths everywhere so you don't have to worry about climbing over everything if you are not physically able but we're gonna do some climbing in a minute up there. I'm now on a ball game court. This bit's quite interesting in terms of the ruler of Ushmal had this built basically and it was both built for ball games but also to humiliate captives. Wonderful and I'm not really sure how it would work. I've just heard a guide talking I've been eavesdropping. So behind me up there is like a ring thing that isn't the original, it's a replica. Maybe they threw the ball through that, I don't know. There isn't one on that side. But to me, it looks like maybe they played it down here and that's where the people were. I don't know. Who knows? We don't know. It's one of those things about a place like this. You kind of have to make it up as you go along. <laughs> I 
climbing. It's not as strenuous as Teotihuacan, that's for sure. Beautiful. And what we got up here? So up those steps is this building behind me, which is the Governor's Palace. It has one of the longest facades, that's a good word, up the top in Mesoamerica. And you'll notice one thing, let me just put the camera up. On the corner of the building there, I said about snakes and feathered serpents and other figures, that sort of thing. On the corners of the building, they had basically God's faces with a big nose sticking out. And this Governor's Palace was often used as an astronomical platform to view Venus. Interesting fact, and it is pretty big. Right, here's the pyramid that's behind the governor's palace. It doesn't look as excavated as other ones, except around that side. I don't know if you can see, you can see the steps up there. Maybe we should attempt to get down there and go and have a look at this other pyramid. Okay, I'm approaching the pyramid that's behind the Governor's Palace. And for anyone that's been to Belize or Shunantanik, which is the, the really popular set of Mayan ruins in Belize, this looks a lot like it actually in terms of when you approach. Let's go and have a closer look. So this is the epicness of Ushmal. I thought it was the Pyramid of the Magician, but it's not, it's this. So this is the Great Temple, the Great Pyramid, or the Temple of the Macaws, as in the bird. There's something to do with the bird up the top. We're gonna to climb these steps now. It feels like Teotihuacan can again. Oh God. Right, let's go. Let's see if I can beat that woman. We're gonna do it. This is like the crystal maze in the Aztec zone. Get the crystal! Okay, you only know what that means if you're from the UK. Well, I think I'm gonna beat her. She's slow. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely ahead of her, at least three or four steps. I have one. Amazing. Again, I can't see anything, but this view is spectacular. You can literally see as far as the eye can see through trees and forest and everything with just these ruins, a slap bang in the middle of it. Literally 360, amazing. So you can see a bit behind me, I don't care about the lighting anymore and the wind, but it doesn't matter. So this is very similar to Shunantanik, like I said earlier, pretty much exactly the same view, except in that case, there is a spot where you can actually see something out one of the Star Wars films. I'll try and put a picture over the top of it if I can find it, and you'll know what I mean. No Star Wars here though. This is epic. Just take a moment to look around. Stunning. I've come down a little bit, by the way. Wonderful. This is epic. And one final stop, this is the Pigeon House. And it's called that because look up the top, it's like a thing that, you know, has pigeons in it. A pigeon house. The pigeons would fly out of there, but it wasn't a pigeon house, okay? There was some kind of palace around this area because it's right next to the Great Pyramid. So my day in Ushmal is done. Before the wind starts again and you can't hear what I'm saying, I'll end this video. If you have enjoyed having a look around, don't forget to do the like, leave a comment. Have you been here? Tell me about your trip here. How does it compare to Chichen Itza? Because that's coming up in a video coming soon and don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch that video. See what I did there? Fantastic. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.